Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson on factorizing by grouping. Grouping can help us factorize expressions that contain four or more terms. Here is an example of an expression that requires grouping. Remember, whenever we factorize, we always look for the highest common factor first. But in this example, there isn't one. So let's start this by grouping the terms that have similar characteristics. It's always a good idea to try to group the first two and the last two, and then to find a common factor with each grouping. Remember that whenever an expression is grouped, a plus must be put between the brackets. The highest common factor of the first bracket is 3p, and the second bracket term has a common factor of 2q. If we take these out, we have 3p, open brackets, x plus 2y, close brackets, plus 2q, open brackets, x plus 2y, close brackets. We now have a common factor of x plus 2y, which we can take out. It's always easier to see how to take out the common factor if it's highlighted. We begin by writing x plus 2y in brackets and opening another bracket to write what is left after we divide each term, which is 3p plus 2q. This will become easier the more we practice and revise. Let's try another example. 5p squared minus 2q minus 5q squared plus 2p. This is slightly more complicated. Before we group it, we will need to rearrange it. We have to be careful to move the sign of the term with the term. Rewritten, the expression reads 5p squared minus 5q squared minus 2q plus 2p. Let's group it now, remembering to put a plus between the brackets. We can take out a common factor of 5 in the first bracket and 2 in the second. Let's look at the first term a little closer. There are two squared numbers separated by a minus, meaning we can do a difference of two squares. We now have 5 into brackets, p minus q into brackets, p plus p plus 2 into brackets, p minus q. We can rearrange the terms in the last brackets so that it's easier to see the highest common factor. We must just remember to take the sign with the term. By highlighting the highest common factor, it's easier to see how to take it out. We still need to multiply out the brackets within the brackets before we finished the question. Our final answer is, open brackets, p minus q, close brackets, open brackets, 5p plus 5q plus 2, close brackets. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about grouping on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.